I know girl. Jesus comes chop. Say what? Jesus comes chop. Well, I for one can't tell you that. That's a fact. But reading from the Jamaica Star, I can tell you that Jesus was indeed shot by the cops. Jesus comes chop. In a this millennium, artillery's armies, many guns. Has Tira Clark stared at the spot where her baby father, Carl Jesus Montague, was shot in their McIntyre Villa, Kingston 16, tears gushing like streams of river she could not hold it back. In no in a no ya, closely watch him make back, remember last time. This Jesus might not be the one to whom many Christian praise. 39 year old Miss Clark told the Weekend Star that she is still in a daze after losing her daughter's best friend and the most loving person she knew. Now she's feeling afraid. He was such a nice person, someone you can depend on. If I'm in any difficulties, I can call him. Don't matter where he is, he might leave and come and make sure me alright. She said. He was so good to his daughter, he make sure she good. Right through the day, he bring food for her. When I tell you he cherished our daughter because she is an only child. Reports are that about 10 p.m. on Wednesday, Montague was fatally shot as he was engaged in a confrontation with the cops. During the incident, police say a 9mm pistol was seized. Others say they can't believe. Now, Clark is saying she have no idea why them kill him because he was never involved in no wrongdoings. She also said she was at home when she heard him dead and it wasn't long before him visit the yard, drop off some food for him dot and then him fled. Then when she heard upon the show, Jesus was really dead. Where is daddy mommy? Their 11 year old daughter keep asking because until now she hasn't come to terms with her father's passing. Right now, she expect him to come bring food for her. Clark said. Me, honestly don't know how me I gonna manage because now me is a single mother and him used to hustle and help people around the place to make sure she know in need. Shauna Wilson, another resident, was furious as she said stray bullets from the guns damaged section of her home and almost injured her son. The matter was reported to the Inspectorate and Professional Standard Oversight Bureau and the Independent Commission of Investigation is also investigating.